Here we go. Hey everyone, welcome back to first place. It's gonna be a small intimate one today. We have uh, Ren Fair is in town, so a lot of people are there, and then there's uh, our flea market going on. So anyways, it'll be just me, John, and Shelby today. Uh, but being how it is October, we got a nice little themed game today. We're gonna be playing Witches of the Revolution from Atlas Games, which uh, I guess a little long fact, um, we owe our independence partially to a coven of witches that we will represent today. You have a coven, I have a coven, okay. that'll help bring about the uh, American Revolution. So um, in order to do that, basically, we already set up the board, and I'm going to talk about a little bit about the board setup, because there is some variance from game to game, which adds sort of replayability. But there's a whole deck of objectives. For us, in order to win... Uh, we basically have to complete these four objectives, which are, let's see what we drew here. Uh, we have to foil a demonic attack on Henry Knox. So we got to save him. Then we have to restore balance and heal the land. And then we have to imbue the Liberty Bell with power. I didn't know it had power. Maybe this is before it cracked. Looks like it. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then turn the tide at Asum Pink Creek. Uh, for those of you that don't know me too well, I actually went to school in Italy, so I don't know as much about American history as people that went to school here. But I'm assuming that's a pivotal battle. Yeah. I, I don't know. But okay. <laughs> Shows how little I know. All right. Anyways, so... Um, this is a cooperative game for one to four players. Um, we're going to be playing with two players, which is about halfway there then. Um, and like many cooperative games, there's a lot of ways to lose. All right, so you're going to lose if the Liberty Bell reaches maximum tyranny. So it goes all the way down there. If an event card reaches the event line loss phase for the number of players. So we have two players. So... If we have an event that reaches their event will come up and travel their way through there, triggering different effects as they go. But if we get an event that goes all the way over there, we lose the game. And then if the last card in the event deck is added to the event line and the players don't win by the end of that turn, so we don't want this to run out either. This moon track over here represents the passing of time and makes things a little more difficult for us, but at least it doesn't kill us. All right, um, a couple of things before we get further into this game. I wanted to point out how this board is actually awesome. It's basically a play mat with everything you need to do on it and spaces clearly labeled and marked out. So kudos Atlas, you guys did a great job. And something that I wish more publishers were to, the insert is like hecka functional. It's got little, <laughs> Thumb holes so you can put your, in my case, big fat fingers through it, you know, and be able to pick up stuff. But you could literally just play the game straight out of the box. It's awesome. I wish more publishers would think about these things ahead of time instead of giving us generic Brando A, B, or C inserts. All right. So we already set up, except there are four different, um, I think it's one common, but we each represent a different witch because now we get to pick which witch we want to be. Which 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 which, 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 which <laughs> in a sandwich shop? All right. So we have the choice. Uh, there's a Native American witch, a voodoo African American witch. I'm not sure if she's a slave or general practitioner or what, but here we go. A um, she really looks like a librarian, but I think she's just uh, meant to be a good upstanding American citizen who also happens to be a witch. And I don't know if these are different, like have different abilities or not. I didn't check, yeah. but it's possible. And then we have the aristocratic Madame Louveau, whatever type of witch. So Shelby, I'll let you pick one up, uh, whichever uh, one you like. Like I said, I don't know if they're different. I don't know either. I'll pick the aristocrat. All right, and I will go with. She looks like a little. Oh, 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 oh. Um. All right, so, um, library, library. Let's do the library. Okay. There we go. In the box it goes. I take my librarian. All right. So now I'm gonna shuffle those. And let's see here. If we had a single player game, we would draw a hand of six. But since we have two players, it is going to be a hand of five. Good. 
and we keep the discard piles in the decks next to us, basically, in this particular game. All right, so here we go. Um, all right, so basically, witches are witches when they're in our coven decks and recruits when they're here. So this is a deck building game. Through the game, we are going to make our deck better by recruiting things off of there. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So let's see here. Uh, basically, quick breakdown of the cards, name of the person, card, whatever. The stars is the cost of that particular card, what it costs to actually. Um, so if we're to look at the cards, right, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you can spend this card to get four stars to buy something off of here. Relics are special because they don't cost anything. We got lucky and got two relics right off the bat. Okay. However, unfortunately, they're a one-time use in the situation. And so you got, and what they provide. So what we're trying to do is the events will come up. There'll be requirements of what we have to do. This is a very powerful card. I forgot what each uh, symbol means. Let's see if it describes, yeah, okay. So the hand is channeling, right? This provides two, four, six channeling to be able to fulfill a requirement on one of the event cards to get rid of it and score its bonus, whatever it may be. Okay. Once you play it, it goes in the discard pile. That's all. All right. So, mm -mm 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 -mm. all right. Which recruits a witch's win in a coven deck or recruits while on the board? Each witch recruit deck is a seeker, dedicant, celebrant, steward, relic, or blessing. And that tells you up top what they are. All right. Um, objective cards. So these are the objectives we're trying to complete. Oh, and each card usually has a special ability at the bottom. You can usually play, if I remember correctly, when I did a quick run through the rules before, is you either play for this or you play for its special ability. We'll read through the rules here, make sure about it. All right, so four types of objective cards, marker symbols. These are basically what the objective is, what's required to um fulfill it and you'll see it here every time we complete an event we can decide to take one of these tokens out now these mm -hmm. tokens count as a symbol for whatever in the case of a cat it's familiars okay so you can use it later to fulfill an objective mm -hmm. and once you score all these we've completed that objective okay you need to win, complete all four to win the game all right, um, name, magic icons, cost, liberty bell, power icon, type of glyphs. We'll get into the events here in just a second. Um, there's different types of events, those over there. They're gonna be unal unaligned events. They have um, unaligned icon, looks like this moon over here. Uh, instead of the magic icons, catastrophes, which have the skull icon. Those are particularly bad, I guess instead of magic items, as well as a darker background to remind players that these cards have continuous effects. Liberty and peril icons repeat the behind the effect text for emphasis. So if it has a liberty bell on it, it means that as it travels along this pathway, it'll trigger the plus one tyranny. Yep. If it has a gun, it'll trigger whatever is on that event for that gun. If it doesn't, we don't care and it can travel on once other than if it gets over there, right and things push so every turn if you leave an event here this will move here this will move here but if you create a gap the line has to catch up before that event will move again okay all right um last thing i should say about the setup there are varying levels of difficulty i put them back in the box but there is a ton of um extra events uh and sorry extra events and extra objectives um the extra events we're playing an easier game since this is our first time playing it um and the events will have little blood spatters at the bottom of them. a little hard to read but you can once you know what you're looking for you'll you'll get exactly what, what what they mean you can vary the degree of difficulty of the game by adding more or less difficult events into this 40 card event deck mm -hmm. we're playing with just two difficult events they show up we'll see what they do um but you can do an all very hard game by doing 40 cards of all events all hard events. All right. So taking turns, uh, which is a revolution of play in turns. Each player does all five steps in turn sequence before the next player takes their turn. All right. Turn reference. You add a recruit, add an event. Okay. So I think actually um, one more thing we need to do: place objective cards. Please play priority event deck. Um, okay. We don't put out an event yet. 
one second. Right. Okay. All right. So step one, add a recruit. Skip this test for the first turn of the game. All right. Okay. So we won't even read it. We'll check him going. Add an event. Flip the top card of the event deck. So who wants to go first? You want to go first? Sure. Okay. So flip that card. <clears throat> so what do we have? Which hunter Boget stalks the shadows? Boo. When flipped, move the liberty track marker one space towards here. Well, poo. That's a nice start. So no effect. Reduce. Recruiting cost. Okay. We reduce recruiting cost. I'm not sure what that means. We'll get to that. But what a great first event. Is it a blood splatter? No. No. But it does have a gun. What's it say on the gun? That's just... It just says when flipped down here. I think, the go I think when it gets to this spot, it gets... Spanish recruit if it has a gun on it. Because mm. when flipped. Yeah, when We just flipped so, it, so I'm guessing yeah. we have to play it. Okay. Yeah. If it's a blessing, follow this instruction and put it in the recruit discard pile. Okay, now that we skipped that step. Flip the top card, slicing face up cards to the right as needed to make oh. room. Okay, well. If moving an event card fills a space marked for as a loss from the number of people playing, the revolution fails and players lose. If the newly flipped card has a when flipped effect, see, read the rules, John. Mm -hmm. <laughs> resolve that immediately. Some effect banished cards. Other banished cards are placed in the recruit discard pile. If a card with the liberty icon moves into the second, fourth, and sixth event, move the liberty track. We discussed this. If a card with a peril icon moves into the third or fifth event line space, choose and banish one face up recruit card. Yeah, so All right, banished. so we want to take care of that preferably before it gets to the first gun. All right, step three. Act and or recruit. In this step, the player chooses whose turn it is may act. Recruit or do both. If they do both, they may do them in any order. Acting lets player try to overcome an event from the event line. Recruiting lets the player take the recruit from one of the three recruit space by paying its cost. Uh, the seeker ability play to act again on your turn gives someone who plays an extra act an extra act. Okay, so. Acting. All right. To overcome an event in the event line, the player must play enough witch cards from their hands so that the magic icons played meet or exceed that event's cost. Most events have two different cost options. One or other or one or the other cost must be paid, not both. So, what you looking for? This is uh, two cauldrons or three uh, hands. Okay. So three channeling or. Sorry, two channeling or three brewing? No, no, no. You had it right before. Three okay. channeling, two brewing. All right. So you would look at your cards and figure out if you can uh, do that. I believe I can assist you to. Unaligned events and catastrophes have a single cost shown as a number rather than the multiple options shown as icons. They can be overcome using any combination of icons that meet or exceed the number. Okay. Um, not there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When a player acts, each other player can assist them by playing a single witch card. An assisting card provides only a single one of the pictured icons, no matter how many icons it bears. So, okay. cards played to overcome an event are discarded to their owner's individual coven discard piles. Relics are an exception. Relics are banished when used. Okay. So you could decide to recruit first if you felt there was something here that was useful to you. Well, but I... Oh, and or recruit. And or recruit. You could do it first. I could recruit this one, which doesn't cost anything, has the three icons on it, and then... If that's what you wanted to do, it is a one-time use, it is gone. Spanish when you... So, when do I get my, my personal discard pile back? So, using... when you run out of cards, I believe you'd you do But that advances this. So you want to get your get your deck lean because what happens is you're going to be paying, for example, I could decide to pay see these three, um, oh God, what's that symbol called? Um, oh. The chalices? The no, 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 the, the pentagram, oh, the, yeah, the, the, the pentagram. Chalice, yeah. I could spend that, well, I would need four to literally trade in these cards because they're going to be gone in exchange for this. Put this at the top of my deck. That's how you recruit. Oh, so you're... I see. Yes. Yeah. So, so and actually, I was incorrect. When you recruit, it goes to the top of your deck, so you wouldn't be able to get it in your hand right now, mm -hmm. but you know okay. it's coming up next turn. Gotcha. 
Uh, so yeah, you're getting rid of potentially lower, weaker cards in exchange for more powerful card. But just keep in mind when you make your deck leaner, you're gonna cycle through it faster, which means this track will advance faster. And I don't know what it does yet, but we'll find out here in a second. All right. When an event is overcome, remove an objective marker from one of the objectives on the board. Okay. So these markers now count as a channeling, a brewing, or whatever right. to help you fulfill. You can spend them just like that. Okay. Um, you do not need to choose an event icon type used to overcome the event. So it can be any event icon you want. <clears throat> If no relevant marker remains, no markers are removed. Wait, 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 you remember? Okay. You can remove any marker that matches any icon shown in the event that was overcome. Ah, you do not need to choose the event icon type that you use. So I could I could choose uh, one of those two. Yeah. Okay. So you're not I'm forced to choose the one that you fulfilled it with. It could be the other one. Alright, so then for my turn, I'm not gonna. Okay, go well, when a marker is removed, the player uh, whose turn keeps the marker becomes an objective trophy. Objective trophies can now remove, resolve future events. See objective trophies. When a liberty event is overcome, the liberty track is adjusted. See the liberty track. Liberty events? I don't know what liberty events. Are. Oh, over there. There's a liberty event. Okay. Finally, the overcome event is discarded. When overcoming event, players may pay double the normal cost in icons. If they do, they remove and claim as trophies two objective markers, which may be different than the event permits, if the event permits. If you can double it, you get... Yeah. No, not happening. <laughs> okay. All right, and then recruiting. We explained it a little bit. To recruit, player chooses a card from one of the three recruit spaces, pays his cost using cards from their hand, adds it to their coven deck. Cards are listed and paid in stars. Um... All right. Um, cards spent to recruit uh, are banished, so they go away. Recruited cards are placed on top of the Coven deck. Recruiting costs are often modified. For example, yeah. And then you can discard if you want in step four. And then you drop on anyways we are in step two and yes. uh, sorry in step three at so what are you looking for what do you um, need um i have <laughs> so okay so you can do it uh, or i can help you with one icon though. i will just mm -hmm. okay excellent so that's discarded and now you get to remove one of these things i can't read them because they're upside down i don't know which one's beneficial to us but okay I'm just looking at what obviously for my deck, sure. you know, picking the one that I don't have a lot of. All right, and then the relics don't cost anything. So yep, you can take a relic. Perfect. One. All right. So now we go into discard. discard. You can discard. discard, and now you draw up to six, right. five, five. All right, so a little about these since you got one already. Once players collect objective trophies, uh, they can spend them in two ways. On their own turn, a player may spend any number of objective trophies to produce the magic icons shown as though from a witch card to help overcome an event. Uh, or on any player's turn, players may collectively spend any number of objective trophies to reduce the cost of a recruit from the benefit of the player whose turn it is. For every two point trophy spends, a recruit cost is reduced by one star. And objective trophies are returned to the box. Again, in that beautiful tray that I'm gonna have to open up. Players choose four objectives to win. Objective is immediately achieved when the last objective is done. Witch and relic special abilities. Witches and relic have special abilities which can be used on their owner's turn and whenever the ability specifies. For example, seeker play says play to act again on your turn. This can obviously be only be done on your owner's turn. Okay. However, Denikin says when assisting with a Denikin, you can also assist with a Seeker. Since the players don't assist on their own turn, it's clearly played when other players acting. Unless it specifies otherwise, a card used for special ability is placed in its owner's coven discard pile. The Moon Track. Okay, now we see what this is. When a player reshuffles their coven discards to form a new deck, the Moon Track marker is moved one space. As the Witch's power diminishes in the waning of the Moon, uh, if the marker reaches the end of the Moon Track, it no longer advances. 
Okay, the number that appears on the moon track marker's current space is the number of additional icons it must be paid to defeat every event the players try to overcome. Keep that low. Yeah, plus four. Good luck. Yeah. Okay, Liberty Track shows how much Liberty. It moves one space towards Tyranny when the Liberty event, marked with a bell, moves to the second, fourth, and sixth event baseline. It moves two spaces toward Liberty when a Liberty event is overcome. If we get a Liberty event here, this will go to up. So that's kind of cool. That's it. And there's some common questions. We'll see if it addresses any. Yay for short rules. Okay. All right. So my turn. Yeah. I start by adding a recruit. Mm -hmm. So this shifts. Yep. So now it costs one less. And there's nice. that. Okay. Lots of channeling going on over here. If reduce cost by star if any magic icon matches. I'm confused. So I think if it's, if you're going to pay for it because this costs four, um, if the icons on the cards are using match, match. Icons, okay. then it reduces by one okay so now we add an event let's see what we got uh which hunter kramer's persecutions two fire or three channeling uh wind flipped the current player must banish the top card of their coven deck reshuffling hmm two fire you say i only got one fire so i can't do anything about that what is fire Fire is probably fire enchanting. But so. you have to lose banish the top card of your coven deck. Ah uh, well poo Sorry. banish. <laughs> there goes my one secret card from the back. Okay. So I'm gonna open this up because we're yeah, gonna Yeah, so evidently playing with the box open next to the board is, is a good helpful. idea. Yep, yeah. yep. So we're gonna do that. All right, so that was a poo. Um, you got a fire you can lend? Otherwise, I can't deal with that. Uh, yes, That's... I have a ton of fire. I just need one. And you can only give me one yeah, when you assist. Yeah, I can only give so. you one. So. All right, so this goes into the discard pile. Boo-hoo. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo. All right, so I'll put on fire. You and put on a fire. fire okay, so that goes into the discard that, right? pile. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that goes away. And what are you gonna do? Wanna work on this one? I can chip away at stuff, but feels like here. Why not? I'll take one. Oh, I have so these in my hand. I have cauldron in my hand. When do the abilities happen on On what? The when objectives. you score the objective. Oh, okay. so when we okay. Yep. One player may freely shift. reshuffle their coven discard, then draw to a full hand. Yep. Okay. So when we get to doing that, and that's why it's like, do we want to work on chipping one away or what? Um, yeah, there's two strategies here. I either go for something like I seem to be low on fire, so I will take one of these. One of these. What was it? Uh, in in incantation. Enchanting. Ooh, I'm enchanting. Okay, so one, two, three, four. And five, that's it. And I, oh no, I got to recruit. Yeah, might as well because otherwise this will just go away and I might as well put it on top of my deck and beef up my deck. Okay. Okay, fire. All right. See, that's not a bad card. You are giving up three stars, but you're potentially gaining four enchanting. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, so act a recruit, discard, draw five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's a shock. It's the relic I just bought. So we added a recruit already. Um add a event. Yeah, you'll get to adding a recruit after you. Oh no, that's oh, right. Allies in Jamestown clapped in iron. This is a hard one. If there, if more than two witch cards are used to overcome this event, it must be yuck. So what do you got for symbols? Oh my gosh, I only have one, so I'm uh, not gonna be able to do this one. But it, there's what, no what, are, what are the symbols? There's there? no, there's no liberty. Yeah, there's none there. of that. But what's this top one? Um, I can't see. It's four uh, cats. Oh, those are the cats. Familiars. Yeah, and the bottom Oof. one is stars. Well, poo. 
Yuck. That is very yuck. Yeah, um, that might end us if we are. All right, well. Well, I can't do anything about it. Nope, you're not. So, I'm going to do instead. You said you had one cat? Okay, I do have two cats when it comes to my turn, but you give me one that's still not enough, and if we use more than two anyways, we have to banish one of the cards. Yeah. So. All right, we'll see what happens with that. It had to be a hard one right off the bat, huh? Okay. Yeah, so you're saying we can't do anything? Because not unless not... I draw something spectacular, but I draw after I no. So yeah. I mean, the important thing is it doesn't reach here because then we lose the game. Right. I kind of want this card, buy it. which I have three, because now it's reduced. So. <clears throat> that goes there, and uh, draw. That wasn't much better. Alright. Alright. So, so we down. my turn, I add a recruit. Yeah. Fire's not what we want. <clears throat> not what nope. we want. Uh, I can't even buy that because if I do okay, so this yep. down. Give me an event I can use. Fire. Fire Salamanders Rampage Foretold. Three fire or three stars. This event requires one extra icon per event to its left line. There aren't any to the left. To the left? Yep. So when it moves down. Oh, it's thank harder, goodness. Harder. Thank goodness. So. Okay, so we need stars or what? Or fire. Or fire. I only have one fire. I have lots of. Yeah, but you can only give one unless yeah. you got something to assist. Look at your relic like mine. Uh, assist assist with, with full resources. So you're going to have to. Yeah. So what is that? Three? Yep, which yeah. is all we need. All right. So that event is gone. And now what do I need to deal with that one? Uh, I need a cat? Four cats or five Okay. So stars. here's the good news. If I put this one over here. That means that I'll have two cats plus one three, and you have plus one blank. Mm -hmm. So we can deal with that next turn, fortunately. Oh. So now the question is do I buy anything in here? I can't afford anything because I need to hold on to these cards. Otherwise, we don't complete that objective, that event. So he goes into the discard pile, unfortunately. And then I shuffle, shuffle. And I don't draw because I have five cards in my hand. It's not bad. Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, uh, yeah, I was just looking. I have a play to act again. I could have done that and completed a second one because now I have this token. But sure. you know, because we can't do it on your turn. Right. Um. All right, when flipped, the current player must discard their hand and draw four cards. Well, poo on a stick. Okay. Well, yeah, that really sucks. No cats? I have two cats. Yeah. <laughs> I can assist with one. Can you not use a token and a card? I believe so. Let me check. And if that's the case, then yeah, we can kill that event now. Yeah. Um, although, I don't know if we want to do this one. Yeah, we kind of do because the Liberty Bell. Yeah, and isn't that the one that events to the left? No, we got rid we of got that. We got rid of that one. Yeah. Goodness. All right, so um, Vanishing Carry Event Costs, Liberty Bell, Moon Track. Which relic achieving objectives? Objective troubles. On any player turn, players may collectively spend any number of objective trophies to reduce the cost of a recruit or the benefit of the player who turned this. So, no. Oh, On sure. their own turn, a player may spend any number of objective trophies to reduce the number of. Okay. So, so the only thing I can know. do with the trophies on your turn is reduce the cost of a recruit. Well, this made me discard all of my hands, so I, I don't have. Channeling. I have two. I, I can lend three channeling. 
and because okay. I have the horn, it gives. Because uh, this one is the one that will. So can you with my three? Can you do it? Yeah. Okay. This is this is a good use of this yep. <laughs> this artifact. So okay, three that over there. On. That one's there. Now, and then... what do we want as a token? Oh no. Um, it almost feels like you want to chip away at this because okay. you're out of cards. I'm okay for now, but yeah. No. Um. Cool. Uh, Another player act to get two ice balls. Okay, I'm going to take your guy. I kind of want her, but he's going to go to. Well, yeah. And don't forget, you can't spend these if you have to redo. So. Yeah. Hold on. All right. Yeah. So then, done. Uh, Act in a recruit, discard if you wanted to, and then draw. Have... Okay. So. Those are in your hand. Man, you went through cards quick. Well, it's because that made me discard. Yeah, that sucked. I had five in my hand. I had discard and then draw another four. Yeah, you only can start with 15 cards. Yeah. So. Mm, poopies. All right. You could use. Okay. Vanishing. Yeah, because right Two, now. Three. A gun thing happened over there with banishing. No, it's there's no gun on here. If there was right, no if gun, there was a gun, yeah. what does this do? Uh, no effects reduce recruiting costs. Oh, we didn't get to that. We were gonna read the. Might be I need card back. Mm -hmm, Some some levy track face has special effects on the game as shown on the board. Oh, no effects reduce costs. No effects reduce. So you it. can't use an effect to reduce the. Nah, there you go. English. Yeah. 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 Oh. Special. No effects reduce. Okay, so yeah. what is this? Is this an effect or? No, I think it's something you play okay. from right. your hand. Well, let's get a nice. Okay, little. so for your turn. Yep. You need that there. And that are cool. One here. All right. So these aren't bad. Spending two on those. A golem rampages. I don't know, hard one. Nope. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't, I don't see no, this there. is the one with the special background you were talking about before. Yep. It says 9 plus P, which I'm guessing there's right, so so 11, 11 skulls. So skulls can be anything. Okay, 11 cards, period. Well, 11, 11 icons. icons. Okay. Um, while face up, recruiting will cost one extra star icon pentagram, including relics. So relics now cost one. Blah. Yuck. Hmm. Well, okay. I can take care of that on my turn. Oh, good. Then I'm going to take it's care of the cat. It's going to increase the team. Yeah. Can't help that. Yeah. Okay, so um, did you want to contribute one cat, or should I burn this? I can contribute. Okay, That's so fine. two cats plus, I have to burn it anyway. Yeah, right? I have to. Three anyway. and four. So there we go. That 
If two witch cards yep. were used to overcome this event, one banish. I guess I'll banish one of these. That not friendly. Okay, so done. Which icon do I want? Uh, well, we're trying to chip away at this, I think. Mm -hmm. So I'll get me one of these because I don't have them. Oh, actually, yeah, that's good. And then what can I buy for two? This one cost one, right? If I pay if for match, one of yeah. these. So I'm better off getting that because it gives me an extra star. Or I can spend two to get this guy, which is crazy. Otherwise, he goes in the discard pile, huh? No, I have to spend three. I don't have three. Hmm. I remember they cost extra. Cost one extra. He was actually. He would actually. Be... Four. Yeah. Uh, that'd be actually more be... because I don't have any matching. So it's she's... only this one that. This one is just. I can't do. I can't buy anything because I only have two. So. Yeah. Oh wait, I can reduce the cost with one of these. <laughs> Two cards, these cards. Well, difficult decisions. You can deal with that next turn. Yep. This is gonna go in the garbage. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'll wait. All right. Draw. He's in the garbage. Um. Down and thirty goes up one. What is it now? Increase recruiting cost by another pen. Recruiting sucks right now. Yep. Unless we get a liberty <laughs> event. All right. Event Reign of Frogs. When flipped, the current player must discard their hand and draw four. Why? That's. Negra's ability to deal with that. Wapu. Because now all I have is eight. Oh no, I can play one of these, right? Yep. So that's my whole hand, though. But you gotta get to 11. I can contribute one. I, yeah, you can. So, but still, that's my whole hand. I <laughs> there goes everything. All right, I gotta contribute one. Uh, yep. Let's see here. I have a number of abundance of stars, so I'll discard a star. Uh, yeah, you've basically <laughs> flipped through your deck practically twice now, and yep. so pick something out of here. What do you want? We're just chipping away at this one, I guess. Actually, you're gonna need it. <laughs> yeah. Free shuffle. Uh, okay, I can't buy anything. It's, yeah. Yeah, is and right. One, two, three, four, five. I don't have to shuffle this time. Next time. All right. So, um, add a recruit. Well, first of all, this one goes in the garbage. Okay. And the shifts, the shifts, and we add a recruit. Okay. Somebody like some cauldrons? Cost as printed. Red goat coat guard abroad. Only seekers and relics may be used to overcome this event. Three cauldrons or three fire. This one is two cauldron stars. And we want to get rid of that before. This is a liberty bell thing, so yeah. we actually want to get rid of this one first, don't we? Yes, we do. All right, so what is it? Three stars, you said? Uh, No. Three fire, three cauldron for this one. Okay, I can do the two cauldrons. Do you have a cauldron to land? I do. If not, I can use a chip. Okay, a so was the effect that made it more expensive increase cost by one, right? Mm hmm. Which so the this... other increase is gone. Okay, so this cost. Um, this one, if I play this, it would be a cost of one. Alright, see here. What do we I need these two for the cauldron. Okay, these two for the cauldron. But if I. 
two. Match. Yeah, and this costs two, then, even if I match. And then it doesn't matter. Okay, so, yeah. Move the way on cauldron, and no one stars. I'm giving up two stars and gaining a cauldron. Okay, so I'll pay two, even though it should have been one, but because of that stupid uh, liberty thing right now. Mm -hmm. Two, yeah, recruiting sucks, but I get the funny feeling if we don't do it, uh, we're just gonna go from bad to worse. So, to, yeah. Are we supposed to. Because we saw two events with the Liberty icon on them. Yeah, so they go, it goes gain out. it back. Yeah, 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 so yeah, then yeah, we yeah, should yeah. be going back up to. Yeah, every time you do a Liberty icon, those are Liberty ones, right. it goes up by two. So. By two. Oh. Back, back up then. No, it goes all the way up. One, two for the first one. One, two for the second one. Oh, you go up two each time? Yeah. But then, so from where we were, completing a liberty icon is sweet. Okay. Yeah, because we were here, right? Mm -hmm. One, two, one, two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's reduced cost for me and you. So we each get a card back. That way we ended up spending one extra. You recruited, right? Mm, but that was way before it was. Uh, it was done. Increased. Okay. Yeah, so, but so. I get one back because I just spent it. Yeah. What do I want? This one or this one? I'm okay with kitty cats. Let's let's do familiars. Okay, we'll keep that one. And then so I spent one, two, oh was it this one? Okay, and now we were gonna go ahead and what are we doing? We were gonna resolve that one. Mm -hmm. So I needed chalices. No, uh cauldrons, three two cauldrons. Ca two cauldrons, so you're gonna right. assist with yeah. one. Here's two, there's one. Okay, and, and that's a liberty one? Yep, that's a liberty one. Maxed out. That's better. I was like, where's the yes. liberty <laughs> event? Where's the liberty event? Okay, okay. good. All right, now I gotta draft five. Which I can't. Two. <laughs> so now the costs are increased, or is it one more icon? One more icon, right? One more icon. Of whatever you're going after. Yeah, so recruiting seems to be something we need to be looking at, especially now that the costs are not crazy. Okay, so that technically wouldn't have happened. So. And now, and Moore's Creek Bridge attacked. Stewards may not be used to this event. Three channeling or three chalices. I have channeling. I can land the chalice. Chalice. Now I would just can give spend that to buy nice. I think I can complete this event, and that means I don't have to draw, get a free draw, and that'll stop that from happening. Don't just don't get any more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, or discard your hand kind of things. Okay. All right. Uh, so. Okay. All right, you're good. So add a recruit. And a recruit. What is this? Blessing. What is this? Blessings of summer. When flipped, do not advance the recruits. Instead, choose one of these options and banish this card. Any player may recruit a face-up 
dedicant or celebrant or free or do not add an event to the well there aren't any dedicants as these guys remain here so do not So do not add an event this turn, I guess okay. is what's so happening. Okay, so we don't add an event. That's a bit of a bummer, but okay. Could have been when it was better. But... <clears throat> Alright. So now it is... We got a blessing. Three cauldrons or stars. Three cauldrons or stars. I can do the three cauldrons by myself. And then do I have enough money? But that doesn't leave me any money to be able to buy a which one? Do you have a cauldron to lend? I do. All right. So if you lend me a cauldron, I can do that, and I can still. Oh uh, yeah, I can still buy that with two. It's three right now if I match with a cauldron, right? Mm -hmm. Three. Okay. Yeah, we'll do it that way. All right. So here's the two. Here's the three. that. That. I'll grab this last one over here. So now the good news is one player may freely reshuffle their coven discards, then draw to a full hand. Okay, so this is completed. Yay, our first completed object of the game. This goes in here, I shuffle, and then I draw to a full hand. Mm. All right, that was actually kind of cool. What other objective will be beneficial to us to go to next? Meaning we appear to face up recruit. All players may freely reshuffle their coven discards and draw full hand. That one's pretty cool. Or remove an event from the line without overcoming it. Okay, also. Good. Yep, um, yep, yep, yep. Alright, so. The skulls. Are those wild cards on that? Icons, wild cards, because I don't think. Icons on yeah, I think so. Icons. We'll find out. Because the skull is the wild on uh, that one. Both the skull and the, the whatchamacons are banishing cards. Uh, free play, event deck, play the event deck. Discard, remove objective mark. Right there at the top. Unaligned events and catastrophes have a single cost shown as a number rather than multiple options shown icons. They can be overcome using any combination of icons that meet or exceed the number. Maybe they are. That's the same icon for. Yeah, I don't know. Any yeah. card. I'll uh, finish up my turn. Okay. And maybe you can find them in there. Okay, so I want to recruit one of these crazy good guys. Not the guy that cost as it is, but. So he actually cost. I'm going to put one of these down reduce the cost by one so and I need now two more two. okay so I'm gonna pay two chits and this card to buy that one yay added a super cool card to my deck, this goes into this card pile. All right, and then I draw. I like this game so far. This is kind of interesting. One, two, three, four, and one is five. And it is your turn, Shelby. Yeah, it appears that they are. I would imagine so because Wilds, you can, yeah you the, can and the moons are and yeah and it just says icons so so I mean those are, that's a pile of wilds right there that we yeah need. that's kind of nice I mean I I used mine to reduce the cost of the card so I only had to sacrifice yeah. one card and get this one in exchange right I just didn't really reduce my deck size yeah. so right event. Red coat authority goes unquestioned. Equipped one player must banish a card from their. Mm. That sucks. 
Yep, pretty much. You've been dumping cards? Uh, yeah, because you've been buying cards with cards. I'll go ahead and banish yeah. another one from my hand. Oh, okay. Because I think you're lower on number of cards yes. than I am. And you're flipping through that deck and, way too quick. And uh, it only costs five of anything. Well, six. Six of anything, but discard. I'm gonna Deal keep these. This. Yeah, I'm gonna keep these outside because I can't reach. Keep having to go in. Fire with fire. <clears throat> All right. Uh... I love this tray. <laughs> Tray is great. Yeah. Silly little things in life. Okay, so I'm going to draw. Ooh, a relic. The Sea of Solomon. Scoop. Must be banished when you leave. So full resources. All right, so add a recruit, add an event. Love dies. Aw. Um, Sad, really. Four cauldrons, four stars. When flipped, no one can recruit this turn. Because love has died. Yeah, and that's a ring, <laughs> and I wanted the ring. Now we're going to lose that because we can't recruit. Right. This is a sad face. All right, well, I can take care of that, no problem. Uh, what is it? Uh... Four cauldrons, four stars. Uh, four cauldrons, huh? Mm -hmm. Can you contribute one cauldron? Because I can double it, double it. Double it. If you can do that, we're going to get to score two tokens instead nice. of one. Let's do it. Yep, so there we go. There's a. Uh, two, four, six, seven, and yours is eight. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Cost. That's what I, I added. Oh, in. you added it in. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, all right. It was three, and then plus the one was four. All right, so we, we did it right. It. Yay! Yeah. So we get to. So you want to do it off of here? Is that what you think? Uh, Either way, I grabbed one from there. They are all good. So okay. I'm just so well, I'll grab one. No, I'll grab both of them from here. We want to try to get through these. Yeah. I'll get two of the hands because I don't have any hands. I got there. We go. I think we just want to work at them. So you can't um, recruit. Two. Yep. So Sad face. One, two, and draw. three, four, and five. All right. Here we go. Chugging along. He's not bad. Three stars. I don't want to buy him yet just because he costs normal. All right. All right. Traveling distractions abound. When flipped, move the Liberty track marker one space towards. Okay. Um, the good news is we've been able to deal with the events before they become a nuisance. But... Yes, this is. What do you need? Uh, it's gonna be three fire or four. Cats. I don't have any. I don't cats. have any familiars. I can contribute one fire, but that's about it. Seems no matter. Hold on to your card. It's okay. Uh -huh. I have a celebrant. Uh, when you act with the celebrant, another player can contribute two icons. I need it. More and fire. Grab and yourself a token. There the you go. Here. Did you want to recruit? At least get the ring. You uh, can't pay for yeah, anything else. See, reduce the cost of... No. no. Oh, yeah, it's free. So now the question here is, does this go away? And no, we, have a we just space? fill the spaces. Okay, right. It's the same with the events. Like, remember how we yeah, have a yeah. gap? It doesn't move, so... Uh, okay. What happens in my turn? Did you draw? Uh, I'm drawing right now. And then on your turn, 
event is the British troops burn the sacred grove. When flipped, each player <laughs> must <laughs> each player must discard a card from their discard, not banish. All right, well discard. that's not horrible. Um, I seem to have an overwhelming propensity for fire, so I'll get rid of one of the fire cards. Rebel, 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 rebel. Uh, three, three chalices, chalices or four. Alright, I can definitely do the chalices. Definitely do. So, um, but I need a hand with one chalice. Am I gonna get a chalice? Otherwise, I can't pitch these in. I've got chalices. I need one. Okay. One, two chalice. And. Three. No, you can't do it from there. Remember, that reduces the cost oh, of right. a recruit. That's fine. You have to do I card. Got a card too. Yep. All right. All right. Take a. Take it off of here. Yeah. Okay. And then recruiting. I think I want to go recruit. And we will reduce by one if. Match that. And what's the icon? Star? Stars. Mm -hmm. And this would get paid though it goes away. Uh, we'll recruit her instead. So we're going to trade in one star for her. Okay. Card for card, this one seems better. I think this one is better. I just don't know what I'm doing to my mix of. All right, to your. That wasn't a Liberty Bell or anything like that, right? No. Okay. All right. All right. Recruit. Now remember, I can use these to reduce the cost of a recruitment for you if you need yeah. me. Well, these are all good cards. For... A karmic imbalance threatens key rituals. Each player must discard a card from their hand. Yeah. <sighs> well, then. Got a ton of familiars, so one of the familiars is gonna go. Uh, there we go. Discard the like relic just to save it. Uh, the cost is two stars, three. Three stars, yep. Yeah. I can contribute one if you want to hold on to one of those cards. No, okay. you're good. Yeah. So, I'm gonna. Boop! This. What do we get? We uh, we turned the tide, which there's no event. Okay. I don't know if we can. Win. Do you want to? Well, no. Or, so why don't you yeah. instead of scoring that one, score something else? Hey, oh, well, that's a wild card, anyways. And then I'll try to score when there's an event yeah. there. Well, actually, it'll be back to you. I'll ignore an event so you can score that and remove two events in one. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, we still have plus one, so it's got to suck yeah. when we get here, man. It'll be okay. Yeah, we're recruiting. We're doing all right. Did you want to recruit, by the way? I don't have any cards left, so I, I have nothing left. Reduce the cost. Okay. okay. Five. All right. So. Now it's your turn. I got to discard this one. That happens in your turn, I think. That's what they mean by discard. I don't know. No, uh, discard is you can discard right. from your hand before you draw. This is now recruiting, right, so. which is, yeah. Ooh, a relic. Ooh, hello. So the question is, can you get both? Can I get the relic and pay for this? There's no. All right. That might be what I do. Okay. Uh, British propaganda spreads to farmsteads. Uh, seven anything. When flipped, one player must banish a card from there. Eh, poop. Yeah. All right, well, I'll banish another card. Yeah, hold on to your cards, like I said. All right. So, um, because I'm going to pick up a card pretty much almost for free. I'm just going to spend one of these. So that will pick back what I banished. And then pick up that card. Yeah, that's true. So, let's uh, pay with a fire. Since I'm gaining a fire. 
and then that cost one now that goes in here and then I'll recruit also this and I'll let that be because you can score in your turn and remove two so um, well I gotta draw one two three four and five goes first hey the blessings of summer when flip do not advance the recruits instead choose one of these options any player may recruit a face of celebrant or different for free celebrant he's a celebrant and yeah, do you want him yeah i'll okay. take that right, was nice the event down turn coats give up the minutemen roster only seekers and relics can be used to overcome well, go after the other one, and then when you uh, pop that card, remove that yeah, one. Yeah, we're gonna. Yep. Uh, so six, seven icons. Uh, there's six. Seven. Okay. That. And this one. And Story this one. objective. There we go. There's two. We turn the tide. At Asun Pit Creek, and we imbued the Liberty Bell with power. All right, one step closer to winning the revolution. Okie dokie. So, this is going swimmingly well. Um, did you add a recruit? Yeah, and it was a blessing. Uh, drawing. Drawing. Oh, good. Awesome. Excuse me. She's tossed. I don't kind of want to take it. Yep. The Red Coat Regiment Flakes Patriot Forces cost four familiars or four cauldrons. Double this card's effects on the Liberty Track. Nope, we're getting rid of that right off the bat. You say how many? Four of the uh, cats and four of the cauldrons. Or four of the cauldrons. Yep. I got the cauldrons right here. All right, so let's take care of that. Four cauldrons and gone. Go one up on the Liberty Track. Yay, Liberty Rings. All right. And then I don't want to recruit really because it's there. So I think I will just chip away. What's the effect here? Uh, all players may freely be shuffled or come in this card. So this is good for all of us. So let's mm -hmm. let's chip away again. This mm -hmm. done. I mean, having a wild doesn't. Nope, nope, no at all. All right. Oh, I gotta draw one, two, three, four, and five. Woo! I'm good for now, but next turn I gotta reshuffle. Which Hunter Hopkins tortures the enemy? When flipped, move the Liberty track marker once towards tyranny. Seven. And alright, we got three stars or four cultures. Yeah, we definitely don't want it to get to the shooty part. Stars. Alright. And I take now again. And a draw. Mm -hmm. Alright, add a recruit. Alright, Benjamin Church reveals secrets. Nine plus the number of players, so eleven. While face up, maximum hand size is reduced by one. Four, okay. Nine, eleven, okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna spend this relic. Because that's three to buy this. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's actually uh, twelve. That is oh, yeah, twelve. 12. We're gonna go up on the Well, okay. That means I don't have this card yet. <laughs> yet, because my hand size is reduced by one. Yes. So, and I can't get to that one. So I think I sit where I am. I might just get this cauldron for the giggles of it. And so therefore, ensuring that we don't have yeah. to move that. I'm at hand size of four. Um, should I buy that one? I could buy that one, and that means that she doesn't go away. 
You won't. There's... Uh, do you want it? Because I can spend one right now and just buy her and add to the deck size. Or... This cost is now, it's reduced by one normally. Um, you... It's cost yeah. is zero. So there we go. Not reshuffling yet. Very good. One, two, three, four, yeah. All right. Hurricane. No. One. All right. Which hunter de Lancre agitates for trial? Input. Add a recruit as you would in the add a recruit step. Do so a second time. So I add two. Mm. Luckily, we emptied this. Yeah. Well, embarrassment okay. of riches now, isn't there? Mm. So, mm. which one do we want to deal with? Because that 12 is a toughie, unless you got well, something spectacular in your hand. I have two celebrants in my hand, oh, which is eight. And it will allow you to contribute two icons from two cards. So you're down to four if you have two. But it's either you play them as the special ability or to contribute so you don't get both. Right? No, no, no. So when you act with a celebrant, so acting mm, right now, playing okay. these, All right. another player may contribute two icons from an assisting card. And okay, I'm playing so... two of them, so you get to play two cards and I get two icons from each card. Okay, all right, perfect. If you play two cards. Yeah, I can play two cards. Okay. So let me see here. What do you need? You need it doesn't matter. It doesn't anything. matter, yeah. So let's get rid of these two cards for a total yep. of four, four icons. Which gives us that 12. meets this. Right, yep. we're good. We're good. Alright, so get yourself a chip. Trying to go for here, I guess. And then do you want to buy any of that stuff? Uh let's see. If you, you throw in a chip yeah, you could throw in a chin and totally buy her for basically Nothing. zero. Yeah. And it adds a card to your deck, which is a problem. We've been having a stuff shuffling through it too fast. And this one is reduced by one. You can play. Two. Or reduce the cost using yeah. chits. Problem is, you don't want to thin your deck out too much. Because it's not in your discount, it's gone. Remember? It's either a chip you throw away or a card. But if I do chips, I have to use because they would the second. Oh, you don't have a wild card? Use a chip wild card, and then it matches. Oh, yeah. yeah, I guess that's true, <laughs> huh? I think we're playing no. it right. I mean, that makes sense to me. But... All right, that's fine. There you go. Let's get those there. Oh, pass me those chips. And is the hand size now back to five? Uh, yeah, because it's gone. Okay, so you got the five. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I might have to. Nope, no, I safe. No discard yet. No reshuffle. Okay. It's a liberty. No, it's a gun. I'm going to get gun. rid of that gun before one, two. So, uh, I don't when draw When overcome, it. a player must discard two witch cards. If the player can, this event will not be overcome. Oh. The mysterious contagion. But it's just discard. Yeah. Okay, so what are we going after? What are those flames? Uh, four flames or three cats. In order to do that one before it reaches the gunny thing, which is banish, and I would need, because I'm down to two cards now, unfortunately, I would need help with a flame. I've got. That's not. No, no, no. You gotta do it. I don't have any flames in my. So I can't do a fame. What's the other thing? I have two cats. Yeah, but you can only contribute one unless. Unless you play... Oh, wait a minute, a... wait a minute, wait a minute. I can do this as a wild card. I can actually play both of these, because one of them is a dedicate. When assisting with a dedicate, you may also assist with a seeker. Okay. So, so I can give you two cats. I don't have any cats. I would have to burn... I do burn one chit, or I burn two chits. Does that make sense? And a card. 
because I got two flames over here, but I need four flames. Just burn the one, the, the wild one, because I'll give you two cats. So I contribute wild a wild one. cat, because yeah. I don't have any card, cat cards. Yeah. Okay. All right, so there goes that shit. And I'll gain another chit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, just get a rat back. I'll do that. That's gone. Uh, do I want to buy anything? That's uh, two. This will cost at two. That's a two, right? Mm -hmm. We factored in the plus one on that card, yeah. Right. Oh, Nelly. Do I buy him? That requires getting rid of some cheats. I can put this down and pay a chit. Uh, let's get this one. I'm gaining cauldrons. And buy this card. That goes into this card. Alright. Um this is one away and when we do that we get the reshuffle or which is good that's why i'm trying to avoid is having to reshuffle it yeah. one two three four perfect okay so if you we're score that we're yeah gonna yeah we're you're gonna, gonna all right down that matter of fact if you want to recruit first burn potentially some cards from your hand or yeah we'll see what you got to do there automatons revenge when flipped, advance the moon track. One player must shuffle their coven discard. Do you want to shuffle? What? What's going on? The event. When flipped, advance the moon track. You did. I just did it. One player must shuffle their coven discards. In I'm must shuffle their <laughs> coven discards into their deck. Yeah, so you have to shuffle. Okay, and then that's why it advanced the... Yeah. Oh well. Nothing I can do about it. It's a shame. It is. Uh, I'm going to play my steward Talitha to cover this one because it's five okay. stars. So then the question is do we want to wait on this? Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Uh, I'm going to take. <laughs> it forced us. Okay. Did you want to okay. recruit? Uh... This one's cheap. Yeah. That would reduce it by nope. and then it also reduces it, so it'd be free. Just well, not free, you play your chip. Play the one, yeah. Top of your deck. Right now I'm just happy to see cards in my deck. <laughs> right. Alright. So okay, I draw. I'm gonna add a recruit on my turn. All right, that one goes there. It's not a liberty bell thing. All right, matriarchs' homes burn to ashes. Oh wait, I totally forgot to do a step. I'm supposed to discard to discard. Okay. Which I had. Yeah. And two. Okay. Um, when flipped, add a recruit as you would in the add a recruit step, then do it a second time. Okay, so we're gonna lose her. Yep. Ooh. Artifact. Golden fleece. The golden fleece. Alright, so what are we going after here? Four fires or five chalices. I got the chalices. That's not. Or four cauldrons, five. Four cauldrons. I can do both, actually. I can do both. We want to do both. Why not? All right. That gets rid of the ashes. Yep. And what Go was it? It was add. five. Uh, yeah, five. There's no way I can get the ten. All right. Uh, five, and then the cauldron. Four. Okay. So okay, I'll so take. Two. How are you? Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. I'll be okay for a turn. Okay, and then you score it on your turn that way. Okay, so, and then do I want to recruit? Uh, feels like, link. yep, that needs to happen. And I think I will spend uh, one token to get a 
card. Yeah, why not? I'm good Draw on two hand size. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Hey, two relics in my hand. Blessings of Summer. Yay. When flipped, do not advance the recruit. Instead, choose one of the options. Any player may recruit a face up dedicant or celebrant. Or what was the other option? Or do not add an event this turn. Eh, we like events. We want to get through these good. events. We're doing okay. A uh, secret escape tunnel collapses. No more than two witches may be used to overcome this event. Four chalices or four channeling. Hmm. I can help with the chalices. Yeah. I, well. Yeah, I can give you a chalice. Uh, if you need it. I don't think so. What I'll do is I'll play two. And use. Two. Okay, and gain one. Yeah. So then the question is, do you want to hold off one? What do you got to draw? Uh, I'm gonna have to draw two, so I'll be okay. So yeah, I'd say hold off on popping okay. this one. Pick from something else. Kitty. All right. I think. All the kitty. I think we're gonna win this, but I might be jinxing it. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you start with a recruit. All right. Kitty. And then the catastrophe? No. Nope. Uh, greenery burial ground desecrated. Only seekers and relics may be used to overcome the event. There you need. Yeah, I don't have any seekers. That's a problem. Uh, hmm. I can pump a relic for only. I can get the six. It'll burn through relics, but I can do it. Uh, uh, I think I can. I need six. I could do it using tokens. Well, no, yeah. only seek. I can't. It says only seekers. Seekers and relics. Yeah, I don't have a seeker. I can give you one by giving you a seeker. But that's not going to help. Um, I mean, it would help, but it doesn't give me. Close only counts in what? One, two, three, four, five. I guess then I will not do anything because he costs. Three and it's pointless to spend three now. Well, poo. Looks like you're gonna have to do it on your own. Okay. Mm -hmm. I said we're gonna win this, and that's what the problem was. Ooh. I hope that's not something bad. Not losing the game, is it? <laughs> Add a recruit flip. Winning and losing. Liberty track reaches the maximum tyranny, or an event card reaches the event line law space, or the last card in the event deck. No, we're good. You just can't recruit. You just won't have any recruits to recruit. Yep, but yeah. what we got is what we got. Alright. Vandals loot crucial supplies. Soupy Advance vandals. the moon track. One player must shuffle their coven deck. Well, cool. Yeah, you might as well do it. Alright, so now we have to add two to everything. So it's going to be five cats or six. Folks, this is what happens cats. when somebody says, I think we got this. Right? It's all John's fault. I'm just it is. Point that out. Jinx. It's my not... bad. Bad John. Bad. Okay. Well, the good news is I can probably uh, solve that one. This? I can help. I won't even need help because it's a... Right. Uh, Three cats, five, five cats. Yeah, I can lend three cats. <laughs> nice. Ow. So, uh, which one of these do we want to pop? One player may immediately recruit a card at no cost. Yeah, Let's sure. go for that. Why not? Hey, uh, one more, and we win the revolution. Well, Oh, but he's gonna have to. Well, whatever. Yeah. Uh, which is. There's no more seekers left. So, right. Um, hopefully, we didn't get rid of all of them. Otherwise, that one could no, consume. No, I, I mean, really, I, I just need one objective yeah. and we win the game. Yeah. So, okay. so, okay. Well, this here. 
to add. Yeah, yeah. And the next event. Which hunter Shrerer menaces the innocent? It's gonna cost you four chalices or five stars. This event requires one extra icon per liberty event on the line. There isn't any. So Really? Uh, I can't so do any of the above. Four chalices or five stars. Four chalices. Unless you can lend well, I got a wild card. So yeah, I can do this. And win us the game, I think. Alright, so you said Four chalices. Here's mm -hmm. three chalices, and then a wild card. And da -da! you can shuffle your deck. Da -da! Yay! Da -da! We won the revolution. Boo with the British, <laughs> the English, or whatever. Anyway, cool. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. That's how you play uh, Witches of the Revolution. Pretty simple game to pick up. Um, kind of cool. I'd like to see it with more players. It'd be interesting to see just, you I'd know. I'd like to see it with more players and using a lot more of the harder events. Yeah, definitely the events felt a little yeah, easy I mean, to us. But, I mean, for the first go around, I mean, that yeah. first one that came up that was hard, we're like, ow. Yeah. But once we started recruiting, it went pretty well. So, yeah, I mean, I wonder. No, because you don't get more recruit cards. So they'll, your, your decks are going to be smaller with more players, I'm yeah. guessing. It looks yeah, like. I would think so. So... It would actually like hurt more to recruit because you're still spending three or four cards, you know, if you don't have the icons. Yep. Or the little trophies. Yeah, and this track cost. seemed to move really quick. I mean, those two event cards kind of really hurt when they came up, and they're like, "Oh, shuffle your hand and your deck." Right. And it's like advance the moon trap. Or All right, discard your hand of five and draw four more. Cool. All right, guys, if you're watching from home, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Um, let people know that we exist, that we appreciate it very much. And for your troubles, we will give out free board games every month. Yay. So um, a week from today, we are doing... Well, okay, this Friday coming up uh, is uh, Massive Darkness, the second part of our campaign, isn't it? No, 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 no. It was this, supposed to be Dark Souls, but we canceled because... Because, of, that's right. This we weekend, we're going to have a series of broadcasts uh, for our weekend in Arkham, which we celebrate every year, which will be a whole bunch of Lovecraftian themes, board games, so make sure to watch that. Um, matter of fact, our first play for next Sunday is... Um, what was it? It's... Um, horror, it? No, no, no. It wasn't Arkham Horror. Uh, who, uh, Fate of the Elder Gods. Ah, so go. make sure you tune in for that one, guys. Okay? Uh, and gals. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.